LGBTQ athletes ever. A record number of openly LGBTQ plus, plus athletes compete in the 2020 Tokyo Para, Paralympics, according to Outsports. Man, my tongue got all tied. Mm -hmm. On the heels of the nearly 200 out athletes who competed in the Tokyo Olympics, the Paralympics will welcome at least 22 out competitors to the international stage, nearly double the number that competed in Rio in 2016. That figure is expected to grow in the coming weeks as more athletes are identified. The sport representing the greatest number of out athletes is currently wheelchair basketball, which will see nine out competitors representing the U.S., Great Britain, Canada, and the Netherlands on the court. I love seeing all these out athletes. The visibility is incredible. incredible. How about the regular Olympics? You know, I was one of those people that only watched it this time because of the, the out athletes that were in it. So yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, and and. So many athletes feel comfortable and supported coming out, which is You know, it's great. interesting. We uh, reported at Queer News repeatedly that in mm -hmm. games, overwhelmingly the, the largest number of LGBT participants ever, Faye's interest in, right. in the Olympics was because of it. Sports. But 70% of all of the athletes that were out, they mm -hmm. way overproduced yeah. in terms of the game. They didn't need a lesbian bar. And well, you, they, <laughs> that, that's right. It was the Olympic Village. You actually. know, it's the sporty tomboy yes, lesbian the, bar. Why? Yes. <laughs> now, if they had an Olympic sport in musical theater, yes. I think oh, that would I'm be on it. And, and, and that was, uh, that's where I was leading to the mm -hmm. question. Do gay men, uh, just focusing on gay men, do gay men care much about sports uh, like the Olympics, the NFL, the NBA? Do we really care that I know a lot that? who do. I know a lot who I, genuinely I want, enjoy it. Really? Yeah. I love what it. What your preferred? Uh, I, I watched, Water I'm sports? not kidding you. Uh, <laughs> oh I watched uh, 40... <laughs> 40 to 50 hours of the Olympics. Wow. Oh, wow. A, a That's lot, a lot. Uh, uh, for sure. Max, are wow. you a sports fan? I, I got to say I'm not, but I did, like like Faye said, like I, um, you know, I was really invested in the Olympics, particularly because of, the, of that representation. And also mm -hmm. a lot of like, a lot of the other things that like came about, like a, there was a lot of discussion on like how people of color are treated in the Olympics right. too. Um, that really like engaged me in like that sort of like discussion. Well, whether you're supportive of sports or not, uh, I love that we're having this conversation of the number of out athletes, athletes that are competing in the Paralympics. Exactly. That is really, because you hit it right, right at the top of the, uh, the story, mm -hmm. uh, representing of course matters. Yes, I, I know gay boys that watch sports with it muted just to look yeah, at their butts. To uh, see the butts in the that football is the uniforms. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that is grinder. Right. <laughs> LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus 